Hello there, it's Wednesday once again and we have a new episode for you today. And uh, for today's episode, I'm going to be doing a very quick uh, session on uh, creating the, the easiest way to create a thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail using Photoshop in your uh, existing video in Premiere Pro. So it's two applications that most video editors are using, which is Photoshop and Premiere Pro. My name is Robert. I'm a content creator and my passion is to help you become content creators. So starting off on your uh, Premiere Pro project, uh, try to find the frame that would best represent your episode. So I have here, uh, this is an almost a 15 minute vlog episode for my other channel. If you haven't subscribed there yet, please head on to that uh, channel, GarageBand, and have fun with me on that channel. So this is the frame that I, s I have uh, pre-selected before I started this uh, recording. So I have an extra layer here on top, which I don't need. So I would definitely have to hide this first. And I, I wanted to use this uh, specific frame so what I'm going to be doing is there is a, a menu here, a button here that says export frame. So what this will do for you is wherever your playhead is pointing, you know, that would be the, the frame that will be exported for you as an image. So once you click this, it will be as for the location where you want to save your exported frame. Remember, we're just exporting this specific frame and we're not exporting the whole video. So I'm just going to browse and let's say I want to save it here on my folder that I prepared them and I hit OK. Going to the directory, I have this frame. Uh, frame exported so we will be using this uh, image export as our uh, thumbnail in Photoshop now heading on to uh, Photoshop make sure you create a 1920 by 1080 uh, pixel um, canvas this is this will be the base of our uh, thumbnail so all we need to do is we just have to draw drag this and position it as such so now going to our layers so this is from here on practically if you're uh, uh, familiar with photoshop it's it's just a matter of you know finding uh, the best title uh, for your uh, vlog episode so let's say i want to do uh, my title for this vlog episode let's say it would be uh, home studio setup okay so i'm using uh my the font that i'm using for my titles for this uh, blog channel is called uh it's called go bold italic so you know i think you can download this free on the internet let's say i want to use a white colored font for this home studio setup and you know uh, because my eyes is, is looking downwards, I, I would prefer to bring my uh, text here. So I'm just going to resize it by pressing Command T. And then heading on to my layers, I'm going to press Command J so that it would duplicate my layer. And then I'm just going to drag it here and write my uh, second line of text, which, which is Home Studio uh, Setup for Bloggers. Okay. So there's no right and wrong way of doing this in terms of design. It would really depend on your style. So what I want to do is when I you know, focus on the word of four bloggers. And once I have that in place, just want to align it a bit. I, I, us I would usually use the pen tool, but first I need to position and kind of create a new layer on top of my uh, photo. And you know, I would just draw not necessarily a straight line we'll just draw like random lines here because instead of you know the usual thing is to box your text but you know i like i like this uh, random size uh, um, lines here so let's say i'm gonna use a dark red background and i'm just gonna fill this layer with 
my color so I have this you know again this is this is gonna be uh, this would depend on your style of design so you know I can even rotate this a bit so that you know it's angled right where my eyes are looking here in, in the photo and lastly you know if you have a logo make sure that you have a transparent logo like what I have here because it's always good to show your logo uh, in your video thumbnail so then obviously it's a bit big so I'm just gonna resize this put it somewhere here and that's how easy it is to uh, do a video thumbnail on uh, Photoshop using a specific uh, frame of your video edit in Premiere Pro so it's just a matter of saving this as a JPEG image and yeah you're, you're done so that's our episode for today I hope you pick something from our series which is the, the, the five minute trick series where I get to share uh, short uh, tutorials in content creation video uh, photography and design and I hope to see you on my next video thanks guys for watching today's episode